Hello guys and welcome to today we're gonna be going through the Star Brawler build and this is an amazing build guys it's it's essentially the monk in space really the monk from DnD or Baldur's Gate 3 in space let's get straight to it so first of all what is your background gonna be like so there's a few good backgrounds here I highlight the soldier the bouncer the combat medic or even the Ronin why are these backgrounds good? Well, first of all, the bouncer will give you boxing, which we are des we're gonna be needing. It's also gonna give you security, which is a very useful utility tool. And fitness, again, is one of the skills that we're gonna be needing. Essentially, all of these backgrounds will give you a really cool ability. Now, it's up to you which one you wanna go for. I would personally go for the one that I like the um, role play the most since it's not that big of a difference. You're gonna be one or two levels behind if you choose something else. Let's continue to the traits. Now, for traits, again, there's some options that I've highlighted that I like the most. One of them is alien DNA, because it gives you more health and oxygen, and you're definitely gonna be needing the health and the oxygen, because you, your punches take oxygen, sprinting to the enemies take oxygen, and you take a lot of shots because you're a melee character. So, Definitely a good pick. Additionally, introvert or extrovert are good because it conserves your own oxygen. If you plan on playing by yourself, you should go for introvert. And then you're going to be using less oxygen when you're playing alone. And alternatively, if you plan on playing with allies, like having an ally with you, then again, go for extrovert. And Additionally, I do like the wanted trait because when your health is low, you do extra damage. And... Since you're gonna be getting shot at a lot, this might actually this might actually save you at some combat. Now, okay, guys. So if you enjoy the content, please drop a subscribe, like the video, and let me know in the comments what build you want to see next. And let's continue with the skill allocation. There's quite a few skills to focus on. One is boxing. That is gonna significantly increase your damage your melee damage because again this is going to be a no weapon build guys it's just going to be a punch build right then wellness is a very good tankiness feed because it will increase your health which is again very useful fitness is very useful for utility it's going to give you more oxygen so you're going to be able to do more attacks and your sprinting is going to take like less less oxygen use use up less oxygen Dueling, what I really like about dueling, even though I'm not 100% certain if you're, you're going to be getting the melee weapon boost, you're definitely going to be getting the run faster when you kill an enemy and heal 10% for your health when you kill an enemy. So this is actually very, very useful because you get self-healing inside the build. So you don't have to use as many consumables. Then I also like pain tolerance as a defensive one because it reduces the physical damage that you take martial arts will boost your damage by a lot and it will also increase your defensiveness so you're gonna take less damage crit more often disarm your enemies essentially it's everything it's utility it's tankiness is is the is dps then obviously for we're gonna go for neuro strikes neuro strikes will allow you to stun your enemies with unarmed attacks so if you do a lot of unarmed attacks there's a lot of a lot of chance to stun an enemy and after you stun an enemy you're also going to be knocking them the rest of the enemies around you down so very strong ability you're you're not going to get it early on because it's a tier 4 ability so you're going to have to spend a lot of points in physical to get that now for utility i also like one point in gymnastics and one point in boost pack training. Gymnastics will allow you to have the combat slide ability, which will actually be useful with your mobility. Yes, the fall damage is not as important. The slide ability is really what you want. And the boost pack ability will allow you to use boost packs, which again, is something very useful, especially when you want capacity, you want, you want to be mobile. So those are the mandatory skills. You can take them in order in any order you like. What I would suggest is that you start out with damage, like boxing, and then maybe go into dueling. Well, actually, dueling is also healing, so it's a little bit of tankiness and damage. 
And then if you find yourself lacking tankiness, take some points in wellness. If you find yourself needing some utility or if you run out of energy, take some points in fitness and definitely make sure to get a point in boost pack training or gymnastics early on. Probably a level two, I would get boost pack training. Boost pack training is really that important to be able to use those. Now, there's also some optional skills that you can focus on. One is medicine that will actually, for every point you put in, you get 10% faster and more healing whenever you use a med pack. Very useful, especially if you're going to be in the front lines. However, it, does, it is a little bit costly. Then you can also go for like a stealth variant and get concealment as well and security. And that would also make, like, I would probably get these points after I've completed the main build. This will give you a lot of burst damage. So you start the fight the way you want the, start to, the fight to start. So you can stealth, walk up to the enemy and then start hitting them for sneak attacks, do a lot of damage and get the fight done quickly. So, I mean, quickly without having a lot of shots taken, without taking a lot of shots. So you could even consider giving up on some tankiness to get those, those perks. And again, security is a very useful one because it unlocks more equipment that you can find. It gives you, it allows you to get more gold. Well, not gold, credits. So again, it's a very, it's a favorite of mine, really. I always take security. Okay, what companions do you want to have with you? I do like some Ko with this build because he has the, the piloting skill very high. So Ko will not, will help you to focus on your build without needing to worry about piloting skills and all of that. Vasco is good because it will buff up your ships, defenses and damage. So you don't actually have to put any points in space combat in case you do want, because there are some mandatory space combat fights. For consumables, I would take the Amp for the extra movement speed, Heart for the damage resistance and the health, or CQB-X for the extra melee damage. These are some really good consumables to be using. I would probably be using those in fights. There's also a lot of consumables that help you with the oxygen. Now for armor traits, so remember guys, armor perks, you find them on, on armor that you, that you loot. <laughs> so you don't control which trait you're going to get whenever you get an armor drop. So keep that in mind. Normal items have no, no traits. Rare items have one. Epic items have two. And legendary items have three traits. So what you want to be getting is Acrobat. Because it, it will reduce the fall damage you take. Sturdy. Because it will reduce melee damage that you take. Because you're going to be in melee a lot. O2 Filter will actually reduce the oxygen consumption that you, you take. And that's really important. This is like two and a half levels if you find an armor with that. Um, combat veteran is also com something you can consider because it is a little bit situational, but you're going to be fighting humans a lot in the game, right? Incendiary is also good because it can ignite enemies. And chameleon is very good if you go down the stealth build. And, and additional guys, bolstering will increase your resistance as your HP goes down. So it's kind of useful. It's kind of really useful. So these are the traits you should be looking for in the equipment that you have, like armor, helmet, and, and backpack. Now, for armor mods. Now let's talk about armor mods, and then we're going to be talking about the star powers, the starborn powers. So for armor mods, you do take space to design, which you should be, you should take. So four levels of it will allow you to get all the possible mods. And what you want to be doing is you want to be getting a point in all the good mo uh, mods so that your character actually has all of those buffs, which are going to be really helpful. So EM shielding will increase your electromagnetic resistance. You can get that on your spacesuit. For another spacesuit buff, you can get the optimized servos, which will reduce, reduce your oxygen you need for sprinting. Thank you for subbing. Mr. Pedro Prats. So it will reduce your oxygen cost for sprinting. Also, extra servers is good because it increases your melee damage. That's really important. Pocket it is also good because it increases your carry capacity if you're having trouble with that. Then for boost packs, you should be looking at emergency aid. Emergency aid is useful because it, it can help you heal when your HP is low. Oxygen reserve 
It's also good because it again increases your oxygen capacity, so it's essentially a level up really. It's one level worth of stats. Skip capacity, which is allows you to have a high intensity boost, sacrificing height for mobility. So this will make you very, very mobile. So you're gonna be able, it's gonna not take oxygen for you to reach your enemies, and you're gonna be able to do it fast. So that's very useful. Then for helmet mods, you wanna be getting ballistic shielding to protect yourself from the from, from ballistic missiles, right? And, and damage that are gonna come your way. It's kind of very good, really. Gravity composites, which will reduce detection from enemies if you go down the stealth mode, right? This is gonna be useful. Heavy shielding, which increases damage resistance against everything, which is very, very good. And finally, sensor array. Sensor array will help you detect enemies on your compass. So this will essentially help you strategize your battle better. So this will give you more in insight on what you need. Starborn powers. I've coded it here. Also, yeah. So green is very good. Orange is good. And yellow is okay. Don't pick the other ones. <laughs> so the amazing abilities, in my opinion, is anti-gravity field because it creates an anti-gravity energy area that paralyzes enemies so you can use that to crowd control enemies that you're not currently punching or you can use it on the enemies that you're about to punch and paralyze them and just make them vulnerable to damage now additionally i really like grav dash because it helps you be more mobile and it also increases the damage you inflict and it's a short re it's a short cost for recharge by the way much shorter than anti-gravity field anti-gravity field so this is a very strong ability that you want you want to be using a lot and also reactive shield is very good because it reflects projectile and it increases your resistance. So this is actually a way to protect yourself if you're ever caught in trouble. Now, create, create vacuum, creator space, gravity wave, gravity well, inner demon, life force, parallel self. Those abilities are also good. Some of them give you buffs like moving through time. And CC the enemies, they do damage on the enemies, they pull enemies together, they pacify enemies, they, they, there are some very good powers, right? Again, I wouldn't focus a lot on doing damage with my ability here, I want my damage to be done through the punches, but I would go for strong CC and mobility powers and defensive powers here. So these are my choices, guys. I hope you like the build, I hope you have fun with it, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Drop a like if you like this build and I'll definitely be making another one. I want to do an assassin with a sword build. So if, if we get, I don't know, 200 likes, I'll, I'll definitely make that as well. And yeah, let me know what you think. Thank you for watching and I really appreciate that, guys.